The closer we get to truth, we don't become vaporous and thin and less real. We become more solid. We become what we're meant to be. Truth is substantial. Now, how do we know that we know? How do we know that we know? Well, the key is not that we just simply in static contemplation. The Bible, the idea of knowing in the Bible is a very uh, uh, defined thing. It's not just that we sort of get a hold or capture certain, certain ideas. You can look at Jeremiah chapter 16, 21, and Genesis 4, 1. The word knowing in the scriptures is the word very much like the word used in marriage. When a, a husband and wife came together, they knew each other. So there was a, there's the blending of their persons. There's a communion. So the whole idea of knowledge is more than just cognitive assent to truth. It's a participation. It's a union and communion. In the InterVarsity commentary, it says this, All men ought to respond to the revelation of Christ, which God has made possible, a full knowledge of God. This is not merely intellectual apprehension, but an obedience to his revealed purpose or acceptance of his revealed love and a fellowship with himself. So in other words, when we're coming to talk about reality and truth with God, it's a participation in God.